Okay, so this is the last video on camera effects. Now, uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to rotate your camera. Now, this isn't the only thing you can do with the camera. There's many other things you can do, but these are the three types of, the three main types of camera effects. Screen scrolling, uh, zooming, and rotating. And uh, we've learned about splitting the screen, etc., etc., uh, but I'm going to be teaching you how to rotate uh, your your game window, okay? And you can apply this to individual, like if you want to just rotate your sprites or whatever. It, no, if you want to rotate your sprites, there is a sprite bat. There's an overload in sprite bash dot draw, uh, which will allow you to rotate your sprites individually. Uh, this is if you want to like globally rotate your game world or something. If you're doing an editor or something or it's a part of the game or something where like if you tilt it a certain way a ball or object will move and that's the and then they'll help you on your game i don't know i don't know how you want to handle rotation uh but it's up to you if you want to handle it or not well uh, so what i'm what i'm going what i'm doing right now is that i made a float variable called rotation i set to zero so there's no rotation right now uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the rotation and we're gonna basically change it from degrees and change it to radians. Okay. So I said if they click the C key, then they add to rotate, and if they click the V key, then they de de decrease from rotate. And one thing I should add is that I should say if rotation is equal to 360, then rotation equals zero. Right and yeah so and say else if else if rotation or I could say if the absolute value of rotation so sorry math dot apps so the absolute value rotation which will um give us the um the the value whether it's negative or change it to a positive value so if the absolute value of rotation is greater than or equal to 360 degrees then we just set it to zero again uh so then therefore because floating point numbers can only go so high so if the, the person or the user or whatever for some reason kept on rotating it over and over again you would have it would eventually crash once you do it this way then there was there's no way we would have crash so what we're going to do is put the multiplication symbol right here and we're going to do create rotation z. We are rotating around the z axis. If you try to rotate around the x or y axis, uh it won't rotate properly. And if you want to understand how uh rotating around the axis works, if you don't understand, uh just think about it this way. Uh take your index finger, anything you want and point it towards your computer screen right now, okay? and uh so that that's like the z index the z index is like uh moving in within the game world so if you point your finger towards the screen and you look like uh you rotate it rotate your uh rotate your hand count clockwise or counterclockwise that is like moving around the z axis so you're moving around that line so basically what we want to do is in our 2d space you want to move around the z axis and that will give us um the proper rotation if you move around the x axis it's like um if you move if you put your index finger if you face it towards the left right so you face it towards the left of your body and you move your uh move your hand in a circular mo motion moving forward uh therefore that's how the rotation will go and therefore we will need uh 3d space in order to do x axis and same for y axis if you point towards um the ceiling or the ceiling or whatever and you rotate your finger in a clockwise rotation that's the way that your your sprite or your game world will rotate and therefore we need a z index for that as well because it'll be rotating to into the screen and then out of the screen etc etc i'm not trying to get too uh, in depth in the 3d space right now but if you want your rotation to work properly then you want to rotate around the z axis and then we need to convert uh the the create rotation z takes in radians. So what we do is do math helper dot to radians, and we put in the rotation. So it will change. It will do the formula for us for changing it from uh degrees to radians. Uh, so yeah. 
and then once you put that in there uh, then we'll be able to rotate so if we run this program um, put this right here so if I press the C key the whole game world uh, rotates around uh, the camera origin or uh, yeah, around the, the camera's position so wherever the camera's position is that's where we'll start rotating uh so that is it and if you don't want it to rot if you want to you don't want it to rotate that way then you can do negative rotation and it will rotate the other direction so if you click c it'll rotate the other direction so that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye